Hey YouTube, Blackwatch Jazz here, and today I am extremely happy to be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series 86 movie Hot Rod. So for the packaging, you got Hot Rod with the Matrix of Leadership in the Light Our Darkest Hour thing. However, I don't think it should have gone to him. We got another image of that. We got the obligatory product shots for a Hot Rod. And you got the barcodes and stuff. You got the continuation picture of that hot rod. You got that. You got the eighty-six right there. That's it for the packaging. Oh wait, no, it's not. No, it's not. Dude, I'm gonna keep the backdrop. Uh, come on. In the background, you know, if it comes out of the dang box. Jesus. And we have this really nice image of when hot rod. Lit our darkest hour. It's as simple as that. So, back to the main vehicle itself. It really looks so nice. Oh my god. My only complaint is that this side, it doesn't tab in. But the other side tabs in, so... I just like to have it like that, so it looks a lot better. So, however, this is actually kind of my fault, though. The clip broke on here. I'm... It's probably because I yanked it because it wouldn't untab. So, if I get another hot rod, I know not to make the same mistake. So, anyway, enough with that. So, to take off the weapons and pizza cutter. It just comes off like that. It goes into those tabs. I'll, I'll go into that later. But anyway, for detail, you have a really nice silver for the engine block, I think. And then you got like a really nice flame effect that is always like on a G1 hot rod. You got a really nice translucent blue plastic right there. However, you can... This is just visible head syndrome right there in the name of... Not in it. In the words of MGO. Visible hands... Visible nearly everything syndrome. You got... I can't do it as good as MGO. Uh, you got the... Uh, the yellow spoiler right here. You got a nice silver for these. For these right here. Yeah, for these. Yeah. And you got a nice orange for like the headlights. And it's all been cast in like a really nice red G1 hot rod plastic. Now, for size comparisons, I'm just going to move this out of the way. Let's put it right here so I have more space. For size comparisons, is with my previous review, the Studio Series 86 Jazz. As you can see, Jazz is a little bit longer. Here is with RC. Hot Rod is a tad bit longer, like maybe by a few centimeters. Here he is with Cliff Jumper. Obviously, Cliff Jumper is smaller. Here he is with B. Obviously, he's going to be smaller. Finally, here he is with Prime. Now for the million dollar question, can he fit in the trailer? Let's see. Pop open. I said pop. Okay, there we go. Let's see, can he fit in the... Nope. Oh, wait. Oh, nope. Nope, he can't fit in the trailer. Yeah, he can't fit. Well, for transformation... So, where am I going to start? Uh, since this is basically already untabbed... Just gonna wanna wriggle this away from the. Or just untab it. Basically, what you do on the other side. Okay, untab that. Gonna wanna pop this up. Take these two pieces. Flip them in. Now. You're gonna wanna. Just do that. Alright. And then this will fold back. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is supposed to do a 360. Yeah, right here, this is meant... Oh, come on. Alright, I'm just going to bend the elbow to get it out of the way. This is supposed to rotate all the way around. Then this collapses back down. Make sure it's properly tabbed in. You can flip out the head. Then collapse this in. Make sure it's neat, nicely compacted in there. Close that all up. Make sure it's nice and snug. Fold down the arms. 
Then this little piece right here, it's going to flip up. This is going to rotate around. And then there's a little tab right here. It's pretty easy to see. It This just tabs into that. Basically, same on the other side. Take that, flip it around. Tab it in. Now, for the back, you're going to want to untab. There's this little middle section you're going to want to untab it away from the legs or just okay you know what i guess that can just untab on its own too all right there yeah like this middle section right here all right now what else am i going to do all right so come on this being all right, now this just goes around like that. You can take the knee, just fold it down, flip out the foot, just collapse all this in, and then collapse it into the leg. Try to tap it in as best as you can. Same on the other side. Okay. Collapse that in. Tap it in as best as you can. If it wants to tab in, please tab it in. Oh wait, I forgot to flip out the foot. Eh, silly me. Push that in. I guess that side just doesn't want to tab in. This is working earlier. Alright, now we're going to take this, flip it up, rotate it around. You know, if you want, you could just close this in. That just taps all that in. Then rotate the waist, and you are done. Here you have Transformer Studio Series 86 Voyager Class Hot Rod in his glorious robot mode. Oh my god, Hasbro completely nailed this. And really, I mean it. They freaking nailed this. Earthrise, a lot of the releases were kind of... And, you know, with all their QC issues, but I can safely say this guy is probably one of the best figures I've ever handled. Like, this is masterpiece worthy. This is like a mini masterpiece. This is better than the masterpiece hot rod. All right. So I'm going to just cut down to articulation. The head can move up that far, down a little bit. Arm moves out. It can probably do a full 360. Yeah, it can do a full 360. Bend at the elbow a bit over 90 degrees. Wrist, wrist swivel. His hand can open. Waist swivel. He can kick uh, up that far. He has a bit... He has a double jointed knee. He has an ankle pivot. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So... For a few of his gimmicks, you can open his head up, and then you can flip down this little visor right here that he had in the 86 film to see that the Decepticons infiltrated the Autobot shuttle. That's one gimmick. Another one is you can kind of flip this down, rotate this around. Come on close up okay and then you have this where like he used the fixed cup and that's really cool it's a really nice attention to detail another gimmick you can you can do this on the other side as well it reveals a little tab that you can take his pizza cutter and just tab it into his hand now he's got a pizza cutter hand now i'm just gonna undo this real quick so I can get down to the size comparisons. Alright. For size comparisons. Here he is with 86 Jazz. And as you can see Jazz is obviously shorter. Since he's shorter than all the other normal sized Autobots. Here he is with B and Cliff Jumper, And obviously they're going to be smaller. Here he is with RC. And then here he is with Prime, and obviously Prime is going to be taller. 
a few more things you can do with this guy. You can give him his two guns, which obviously I shouldn't have to explain how his freaking guns work or how they go into his hands. Freaking degenerates. I'm not calling all of you guys degenerates. I'm only calling the people who don't know how these freaking tabs work. Degenerates. And then there, he has he has his guns. Now, just gonna remove his guns real quick. He does come with a few blast effects, two of which is gonna be mainly relevant on his actual robot mode, which is these two little these two little zappies. Zappy these zappy effects. Alright. Now there's two little tabs. I'm not sure how well you can see them. They can just go in like this. Or is it like this? Yeah, like this. So they just go into the uh, arms. Obviously. And they could be pew pewing. Yeah, pew pew. Yeah. Alright, now for the last thing, you can take his arms out, open his hands. Now, if you don't know what this pose is going to be, then you're a freaking degenerate. You can take the matrix of leadership that is included with this guy. He can hold the matrix of leadership. And then he comes with one more blast effect, which is this. Looks like a little star. It goes into the matrix. And then he could light our darkest hour. That was my review off of the Transformers Studio Series 86 movie, Hot Rod. Now, I definitely have to say, you guys have to pick this one up if you're a hardcore G1 fan, if you grew up in the 80s, or if you grew up with the 80s cartoon. You have to pick this up. This is like an amazing release. Oh my god. I swear, Hasbro is killing it with all of these freaking Studio Series 86 figures. If only they put that much effort into the Earthrise line or the Bayverse figures. Oh well, that doesn't matter. At least we're getting these figures. However, I'm not that excited for Blur. Luck luckily, he is not my next review. My next review is probably going to be Grimlock, Scourge, or Cup. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.